Hi, Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation, once again, with part two of the 10 most disgusting behaviors that destroy relationships. And hopefully you've already watched part one and you realize that we do things at the Marriage Foundation that are so different from what you would call the mainstream which is basically Western psychology applying to marriage and it doesn't. So let's get into this now. Number six, accusing. Accusing is a defensive action that says to your partner, I'm feeling very insecure. And so I think that you're doing this to hurt me. That's what it's saying. So it makes you look weak. Now, your wife or your husband may be okay with that, but that isn't the point. The point is that you don't want to recognize in your spouse those things that affect you negatively because most of that is how you see things, how you experience the world. And they may, to a vast degree, be innocent. Now, some people say, well, what about if I catch my husband on a porn site? Well, then you caught him and confronting him or accusing him. Now, what he did was wrong. There's no question. But you got married in order to be happier. You got married in order to experience love. So by bringing it up, whether it's as a confrontation, an accusation, any kind of challenge, is gonna force him back, force her back. And that does not contribute love to your marriage. So it has the opposite effect. Accusing never works. Also, if you're expecting a response like, yeah, you caught me, that's only in the movies. In truth, when people are accused, they fall back into their drive to survive tendencies. It's instinctive and they'll either fight you or run away from you in some fashion. And there's different ways. So it's a disgusting behavior and it does nothing but damages your relationship. Number seven is ignoring. You know, a lot of people use that as a tactic. And what it does it does have the effect that you want it. You are showing your partner, your spouse, that you're displeased. Unfortunately, it's showing it in a way that is so rough, so crude, so harsh. There's nothing loving about it at all. And some people say, because I mean, we've been doing this for 20 years, so we've heard it all. Some people say, well, I'm ignoring them because if I didn't, I would blah, blah, blah. I'd blast them. I'd shoot them. I'd whatever. One of the things that we don't learn, that is a necessity to learn, that nobody talks about at all, we don't hear it growing up or anything, is mastering our mind. You're a soul. You have a body, you have a mind, and you're supposed to learn how to master your mind. You know, if you were taking our courses, and if you're watching this video, chances are your marriage is not that bad, and one of our books is fine for you, but if you were taking our courses, the very first thing we get into is teaching you how to master your mind, how to control your emotions, how to change your habits at will, how to evaluate your own self so that you could progress. 
That's what we're supposed to do, right? It's all about evolution. Yeah, these atheists go, oh, it's either evolution or God. No, <laughs> it's not like that. God created evolution. And we're supposed to evolve. We are supposed to self-appreciate, grow, become better human beings every day of our lives. That's our job. So ignoring, it's a terrible thing to do. It's no fun for you if you're ignoring. It's no fun for the ignored. Number eight, flirting. Guys, we get this complaint all the time from wives. Oh, my husband's flirting. We go to a restaurant, he's flirting with the waitress. He's flirting with the woman at the next table. Now, some women do it too, but not as much. It's a slap in the face. Now, we tell the women who come to us with this problem, you're not taking care of your husband well enough. He should be seeing in you the ultimate of all ultimates, that he only wants to be with you and it would never cross his mind to hurt you that way, never cross his mind to insult you that way. But men, there are better ways of getting your wife's attention. Flirting is very destructive to the relationship. Okay, number nine, comparing. This usually doesn't happen later on in the marriage, but early on, it's not unusual. When you're not happy with something, you say, well, when I was going out with so-and-so, he or she, da 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 Oh my God, talk about pulling the rug out from your partner's feet. And you're there to love your partner. You're there to nurture your relationship with love, compliments, positives. Not let them know they don't measure up. It's terrible. Number 10, I saved the best, the worst, for last. Now, it's recreational sex is a disgusting behavior. What am I talking about? This is not your fault at all. You know, way back when I first started helping couples, I used to be a divorce mediator and then I shifted my practice. I started getting couples from Hollywood, screenwriters, actress, people you know, actresses, and I never chided them for this, but the truth of the matter is that we learn about marriage relationships from movies and TV, sitcoms mostly, or soap operas. And it's all wrong. And the ideas of sex are wrong for human beings. We are human beings. We're divine. Now we take on a body. We take on a mind. And the body, because of its biology, has within it the drive to survive. You can't avoid it. And it's constantly pinging the mind to avoid danger, to seek out opportunities, and to procreate. And what quote-unquote sophisticated human beings do is instead of just getting into animal sex, they get into recreational sex. Totally misses the point. And this one behavior alone destroys all the marriages. Because recreational sex means your focus is not on your heart. It's not on you as a soul connecting with your soulmate. It's on your genitalia. And it becomes something that you compete with, you try to get better at, hey, how was it for you, da 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 And it's going to just suck the juice out of your marriage. Because your marriage is not meant to be that way. Your marriage is meant to be based on love. Love is ever-expanding. 
love is infinite sex isn't so you need to learn all about love you need to learn about sex and marriage you need to learn about yourself based on your gender about your spouse based on their gender you need to learn about mastering your mind you need to learn how marriages work now I hope this video was good for you if it was like it subscribe to the channel leave a comment if you'd like and I'm Paul Friedman we're here to serve you at the Marriage Foundation we care about you and this is not BS we love you and we want you to be happy we want your marriage to produce what it's meant to produce ever new joy ever new ever increasing happiness and love thank you for spending time with me God bless you and take care